Is there more to Bay Cafe than just the coffee? Yeah, a hundred percent. It's the people. It's the way coffee got to where it got to me. It's the way coffee gets from me into the cup that my customer is enjoying it. I think what sets my business apart is um, I don't even know how to really describe it because for me I don't think of it in a sense of like how am I going to be different from that other business it's just like I know that my existence is already different uh, from the person next to me and so anything that I'm going to do is just going to offer a little bit of uniqueness. Good morning America! <laughs> my name's is uh, Amerence or Emerence in French and I am the owner of a cafe. Ve Cafe is a specialty coffee shop that I chose to operate out of a van. I got the name Ve from my middle name, which is uh, Merveille. So in some contexts it can mean day old, in other contexts it can mean evening, and the context that I'm using it for, it means waking. I started this business because I just love facilitating connection. And I really love good food, I love good drinks, and so I chose to take part in the hospitality industry beyond just being a consumer or beyond just working for someone else within the industry. And uh, that's part of why Bay Cafe exists. I came up with the Bay Cafe in 2019 and my idea wasn't necessarily to get Bay Cafe going right away, honestly. I, I told myself if I'm going to move somewhere, somewhere new, I want to situate myself there for at least two years because I suck at staying in places. Abbotsford seems to be on this wave of entrepreneurship and innovative and local support, like being being uh, supporters of local businesses. And so after having been here for a few months, I, I just ended up connecting with a few different business owners who are young, who are innovative, um, and are really about community and are really about supporting each other. And that was really inspiring. Yeah, and so I think Abbotsford is, is unique in that way, in the way that people kind of like to band together. And I chose, I chose to get started here because I already knew enough people that I knew would be supportive in my beginning. A challenge in starting up a cafe, I would say probably would have been the weather because I didn't have an enclosed garage or anything. So the build only happened when A, I had time from working my two other or three other jobs and also when the weather was good enough for me to, to continue working outside. Yeah, I would say that there is definitely more to Vey Cafe than just serving coffee, you know? I, I love I love coffee, I love the fruit of it, I grew up around it. So I love being a place where people can get educated on the difference between a medium roast and a light roast. Educate people a little bit on where coffee comes from, who worked the ground for them to get the cup that they're enjoying in Western society. And being able to nerd out with people that love coffee while also educating, quote unquote, those that aren't necessarily about coffee but just love to drink it for the caffeine it provides, you know? Yeah, the motto of a cafe is building relational bridges through coffee and, and good eats. So basically, um, coffee is just a vehicle I'm utilizing to get to meet new people, to get new people meeting each other. So anything that I'm going to do is just going to offer a little bit of uniqueness, whether that be the way that I engage with my customers, whether that be in the way that I facilitate them meeting each other. Because one of the things that I've already noticed with the van is I'm not in a hurry when I'm making my drinks. When I see other people being a little bit anxious to get their drinks, I try to be the hit me this person so that you can all be in conversation and that way you're in the middle of connecting with someone else while you're all waiting for your drink. Every interaction matters. Yeah, how can people support me going forward? Buy coffee, buy the merch. I'm, um, I'm gonna be releasing merch every, every few months here. Um, so I would really love to see people rep buy coffee wherever they're at. Um, oh, please bring me food. Can I say that? I would love for people to bring me food because it's early mornings and sometimes I forget to eat or sometimes it's such late nights that I don't get a chance to cook. So if you got food, I will take food. So yeah, come, come to the van and come with enough patience and enough grace to let it take however long it needs to take for you to get your coffee because whoever is in front of you receiving the attention, you'll be getting the same amount of attention when it's also your turn. So I think just having grace when you're at the van will probably be one of the things that I ask. Hey, it's Amaranth. So here's a little update. So Bay Cafe's last day for the year at Matsui Trail will be October 31st. 
So as of November 2nd, we'll be relocating to Devon's Greenhouse in Abbotsford. Um, and then you guys can find more updates about where we'll be throughout the winter on, on our social media, both Instagram and Facebook at V-E-I-L-L-E Cafe. One word.